We've seen how we can use grouping to take one of the fields from our report and group the report by the unique values within that field. Sometimes that unique value grouping is not sufficient to meet our needs. For example, if we wanted to do a grouping around how much people had spent, we couldn't do that based on the unique values of the last sale value because everybody spent a different amount. So what we'd look to be doing is doing a group of values within the last sale value. That would probably make more sense if I show you what I mean. So we're looking to group on the last sale value. So we go to the group expert. In the group expert, we choose the last sale value and put that into the group by. As it stands at the moment, that will give us a group for each person who spends exactly the same amount of money. But we don't want to achieve that. We want to go into the options. Instead of in ascending or descending order, we have an option here for specified order. So if I choose specified order, I then get a new tab called specified order where I can effectively create my own groups. So let's create a new grouping that I'm going to call big spenders. And those are the people whose last sale value is greater than 50,000. And then I need to add a new group. So I can either say OK or I can click new here. Let's do this one OK and then new from here. Medium spenders. This is for those people whose last sale value was between 20,000 and 50,000. Now, when you use between, it encompasses the two outer values. So if they've spent exactly 20,000, they'll fall into this bracket. If they've spent exactly 50,000, they'll fall into this bracket. If they've spent more than 50,000, they'll fall into the big spenders bracket. And let's have a third option, which is the small spenders, and they spend less than. 20,000. Now, when you build your own named groups, as we've done here, you decide the order they appear in. So at the moment, they'll appear in big spenders, medium spenders, small spenders, but I can use the arrows here to change that order. Perhaps I'd like the small ones at the beginning of the report. So I move them up and then let's move the medium spenders up. So it goes small, medium and big. Now I've actually set criteria for each of these user defined groups, really, which I can edit by clicking here, takes me back into the filtering criteria for that group. What you'll also notice is a new tab has appeared up here called Others, and this is how you tell Crystal Reports what to do with those records that don't match any of your groups. So here I've created three groups, but if there are any records that actually don't match any of those groupings, so you have to be careful either A, that they do, or B, that we go to Others, tell Crystal what to do with the others, you can either discard them, now my discard it means ignore, so they won't appear in the report. Or you can group them all together and put them in their own group, which defaults to others, but you could call it something else. So I'm going to call it other spenders. Now the way I've built my criteria, there shouldn't actually be anybody in the other spenders group. Or you can leave them in their own groups, and those groups will be based on the field that you've chosen. So in this case, it would use any of the leftover values that don't fall into any of my groups to group them by. You come into options and from the common we choose in specified order that defines the specified order tab where we can create our own groups simply by clicking new and adding the criteria and then we need to just tell it what to do with anybody that doesn't fall into our user defined grouping then okay then okay and you can see in design we have the same pattern here group header one group footer one but when we preview the report we can see in the group navigation tree, we have our three groupings, small spenders, and that's all of these people, medium spenders, that's all of these people, and then big spenders. We'll go on to the big spender group. So this is user defined groups, allows you to filter a particular field based on whatever criteria you're after. In this case, we've done it on values of sales, but it could be a date range that you want to filter by, could be an alphabetical order. You might want to group A's to F's together. So instead of just grouping by their surname, you could group by their surname beginning with A to F. So the flexibility there of having these special groups makes the Crystal Report grouping option really quite powerful.